So my name is William George, uh, from the Slave Tooth Nation, and I'm um, the leader of the resistance uh, on Burnaby Mountain here. My name is Mike Kudima. I'm originally from Medicine Hat, Alberta, and I'm a climate campaigner with Greenpeace Canada. My name is David Sequeda, and soy de Veracruz, Mexico. Hi, I'm Laura. I live in Vancouver. My name is Farid Iskandar. Uh, I came to uh, Vancouver from Edmonton. Before that, I was, I was born and raised in Cairo, Egypt. Uh, mon nom c'est Olivier Huard. Uh, je suis uh, un activiste de, avec Greenpeace pour maintenant à peu près 10 ans. My name is Emma Jackson. I'm 25 years old um, and I currently live in Amiskwichi, Wiskiagin uh, on Treaty 6 territory in what is now known as Edmonton, Alberta. Why is it important for me to take action against this pipeline? A lot of reasons, you know, uh, my ancestors did so. And, uh, you know, I'm just that vessel and uh, the voice for my ancestors by doing this work. When I heard that the uh, Canadian government would spend billions of dollars of our, our money on this project, it made me angry. Uh, and as an activist, when I'm angry, it's transformed easily into action. I'm from Alberta and uh, our government was kind of trying to divide us against British Columbians. So for me, it was very important to come here and show solidarity with British Columbians. I want to be able to look back 30 years from now and, and know that I did whatever I could. Trabajo a veces como guía de montaña, así que las montañas representan algo muy importante para mí y los ríos que vienen de ahí creo que también son algo muy valioso y algo que nos conecta profundamente con la naturaleza. This pipeline itself, of course, is globally significant. You know, it's uh, linked to one of the biggest carbon bombs on the face of the planet and in a time of climate crisis. It's one of the projects that we need to stop. This is ridiculous that we're proceeding with a project like this in a place like this in 2018. So a message for Trudeau is, uh, first of all, this pipeline does not have indigenous consent, which is something that he has promised to implement all of the recommendation from the Truth and Recon Reconciliation Report, which this obviously direct directly violates. It's not too late to make the right decision. We need a leader that is bold and brave and willing to take action and jump us into the next way of being. I truly believe that this project will be the end of your political career. It's about all of us. It's uh, not just about, you know, us uh, humans, but it's about these little creatures too. I'll share a story with you guys, maybe. Um, you know, when uh, we were pregnant with my son, the mother, she said, what if our son grows up to be the one that saves the salmon? And uh, in a way, he kind of is. Uh, he's always on my mind when I do um, do this work. 